Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. Alright, we're making our escape from Dangro Island. We've made it up to the top. So now let's hop in our little ship here and return to the Delphinus. Gregorio, you were like family to me. Lord Gaucher, what's going on? Send him back to Valua, and make sure his body is well taken care of. It is worth more than your life. Yes, Lord Gaucher. <laughs> Gregorio, you are always the kind to be the last to stay on a sinking ship. Man, that's too bad. One of the the really good characters in the game, you know? Uh, you could tell that he pretty much disagreed with the way Valua was handling things from the start. And, well, at least he was able in the end to uh, let us escape from Galshin, because, well, if it would have ended there, then, well, <laughs> you know, pretty much everything would have been, well, completely screwed. So, uh, definitely thankful for his sacrifice, and we'll make sure that it doesn't go in vain. All right, so now that we are done with this, um, if you remember, we picked up a couple of moonfish in Dangrel Island. Thankfully, uh, Dock Ship is actually really close by, and as I mentioned, those were actually the final two moonfish in the game. So uh, we're going to go ahead and turn those in and pretty much just take care of that. Uh, we also have a couple of optional battles we're going to be fighting here. So first things first, let's head to Dock Ship. Alright, so let's feed him the last two moonfish. I guess we could just leave it in this time, because I pretty much always cut the sequence out, but uh, this is pretty much the last time it's going to happen, since we're going to get a special reward for the final moonfish, of course. So this is uh, pretty much the last regular one there is. And, oh, there's the hairball. <laughs> Alright, so as our final, uh, yeah, item type prize, we get uh, three weapons, as you can see here. The Hydro Wing, the Silver Arm, and the Serpent Strike. Um, I'm pretty sure the Hydro Wing is actually a gun, despite how it would sound like a boomerang for Aka, uh, Arm for Drachma, and the Serpent Strike for Enrique, obviously. So they kind of uh, suit up our fourth characters, I guess. Alright, so we can feed him the final Moonfish. Alright, something's different about him. Man, look at that bird. I think it's huge. Wow, check it out. It's actually hovering now, too. Wow, he just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Well, I think if anything ate that many moonfish, it'd grow at least half as much. But I bet that Maria's real happy that he's grown so much, huh, Doc? You'd think so, but life doesn't always turn out the way you expect. Piccolo, he wants to go home. Huh? Piccolo has grown wings, so now he's saying he wants to go home. Home to where all his friends are. I think he has a point, though. If we don't return him to nature, he'll never find any of his own kind, let alone find someone to marry. Wait, wait what? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> but the one thing that's keeping me worried is if this guy leaves, Maria's gonna fall into depression again. Uncle Doc, I, I'll be fine. M Maria? Ever since Daddy and my sister went away, I've been so lonely. And I think that Piccolo feels lonely too. I'm gonna miss him, but I think he should go home so he won't be lonely anymore. <laughs> I have you and Vice to take care of me too. I don't have to be lonely anymore. Hey, there you go. Well, you sure have grown, Maria. Vice, I don't know how to thank you. To think this is the same Maria that I've been caring for all these years. I can't believe it. I owe everything to you. Nope, off he goes. <laughs> I'm amazed even with those little wings that he could get off the ground. I mean, look at that thing, it's massive. Hey, looks like he's getting ready to leave. 
So of remind you of when we left Pirate Isle, eh, Vice? <laughs> Something like that, I guess. Goodbye, Piccolo. Be nice to your new friends and come back to see me sometime. And that's a really good shot right there. I love the cinematography on that. Yep, and off he goes. So, yep, say goodbye to Piccolo. No more moonfish to feed. He's off to go back home. And as you can see, we found the Moon Hamachu, the final discovery. Thanks to Air Pirate Vice and his friend Doc, the mysteries of the Moon Hamachu have been solved. Once fed a moonfish, the Moon Hamachu will undergo metamorphosis and will eventually return home to its nest. This discovery will go down in history. Nice. Yep, so that's pretty much it. We get transplanted back out, and now the dialogue changes a little bit. I'm doing just fine. Feel free to stop on by whenever you want. <laughs> and Maria wishes me to come back. Yep. So there you go. That takes care of all of the moonfish. No more to catch, no more to turn in. Awesome. All right, so before we fight a couple of battles, that's pretty much what's coming up next. We're going to do a little bit more preparation. Um, and here I believe uh, we should now have the new equipment. I'm going to pretty much assume that we do. Um, we can check actually with the ship parts real fast because he might have some new things. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's a few new things we can buy at this point. Now, let's see. Yes, as you can see, he actually offers new things for us and the uh, weapons equipment merchant guy is going to offer some new things as well. So it looks like we have some new cannons, which is quite a big improvement. Well, check that out. So we're going to buy a couple of these. And uh, unfortunately, the sub-cannon is a lot worse. I don't know. I must have just got a really awesome sub-cannon or something. It's like every new one we've come across has been worse. I don't know how that works, but... And then there's an accessory that's worse. Um, however, he does now sell this item, the Apo Wax, which uh, gives you attack and defense power for four turns. That's actually the equivalent of Incremus, so it basically doubles the length that the Apo Wax used to last. So, you can pretty much guess we're going to stock up on these now. They're going to become our new main source of powering up our ship. We also have Speed Wax Complete Kits, which uh, I guess we can buy a few more of these. I don't think we'll need more than 50, but, well, you know, can't hurt to have more, I guess. And then, of course, here's all his old equipment, so that's all we really need from there. Alright, so let's check out the uh, equipment merchant. If you don't remember, he's right in this building over here next to the sailor who's still rolling around and has been since the beginning of the game, pretty much. So yeah, big flexing guy. Let's talk to him. Alright, and the stuff he sells isn't really too much better than what we already have. You can see it's just kind of a minor improvement. He's also got an arm and a pistol for Dracula and Gilder, respectively. Um, neither of which we have right now, so I'm not really going to bother with that. Uh, we will buy Aka's new weapon. There's uh, some Vengeance armor, which again, Vice still has that Berserker mail, which I think we picked up from defeating Loose Cannon Lapin back in the day. Uh, but it's a little bit better for Enrique, so we'll buy it for him. And this dress, it looks like, uh, yeah, it's only a little bit better. It's plus one defense for Aka, and I don't want uh, Fina missing out on all the rest. Actually, she doesn't really need the hit percentage that much. So yeah, I'll go ahead and just buy two, one for both of them. And Fina really needs all the defensive help she can get. Uh, they also have this blue rogue patch, which um, unfortunately it's pretty good, but we pretty much have our accessories sorted out. You know, we've got Aikos, which makes her immune to physical attacks. We've got Finos, which makes her immune to conditions. Enrique's for SP. And of course, Vice has the white mat captain's hat combo. So we're pretty much good on those, but uh, it's a pretty good one if you don't, uh, if you're missing one or something like that. It's not a bad accessory to have. All right, and as one last bit of preparation, we're gonna spend the night, and then after that, I guess we could talk to this guy again. Uh, oh wow, he's actually giving me information. I don't know how this guy learned it, laying here on the ground the whole time. So of course he's talking about Gordo's Bistro, which we knew about a long time ago. But yes, as one final bit of preparation, we're going to uh, spend the night here and recover all our HP and MP real quick. And then after that, we'll head out. Okay. 
Of course, now that I think about it, it might actually be a good idea to, you know, actually get the item I need to do this next fight. Let's, I think we should be able to just leave, yeah. And of course, we're gonna get the fourth black spot, so that pretty much tells you uh, who we're gonna be fighting next. I'm sure you probably guessed it. Alright, so now that we've got that, let's head out, and uh, this should be the final decisive battle. She said she'd come at us one last time, so... Um, hopefully we can finally settle things, and of course we also have the knowledge now that Piastle and Maria are long lost sisters, so uh, maybe we can do something about that, but well, only one way to find out, we gotta head out there and take care of it, so let's do it. And she is of course in her usual place, out here just to the west of Sailor's Island. Or Sailor's Isle, I can never remember which one it is, Isle, Island, whatever. Alright, so let's approach her ship again. Vice, this will be our final battle. Piastol, wait a second, there's something we need to tell you. Nothing can save you now. The only thing I desire is to watch Vice fall by my hand. That's all I live for. I will defeat you. The last seven years of my life rests on the outcome of this very battle. On guard! Ah, well, couldn't even get a word in before she started attacking us, so it looks like we're gonna have to beat her up first one last time. I shall have my revenge at last! Yeah, well, we'll have to see about that. So this battle is pretty much the same as all the rest of them. It's her and her Death Hound. She's still got her Tempest Dance attack. She's still got Deluge. This time, however, she has added the spell Eternum to her repertoire, which, if you didn't know, is guaranteed instant death unless you have some form of protection against it. So obviously that means Delta Shield is priority number one. That's going to be going up all the time. Uh, we're also going to keep up Justice Shield because she is very strong with her physical attacks. So uh, the strategy here is pretty much going to be the same as it always has whenever we faced her. Uh, we're going to use a Glyph of Might here on Vice. And we use Justice Shield. And at this point, we're pretty much just saving up SP to be able to use a Pirate's Wrath. Uh, one strengthened Pirate's Wrath will take care of the Death Hound with no trouble whatsoever. And then we can focus on her. Die. So here's the Deluge again. Take this. And you can see it still does actually about the same damage. It's moderate, nothing too bad, but it is against all party members, so that game gets slightly annoying. <laughs> so it did its weak little physical attack there. And of course, that fatigues. Yes, you still have to worry about conditions in this battle, so uh, unfortunately that focus was completely wasted, but well, that's alright. So you can see now we can't focus, even if it might have been cured before, so now we're going to have to have Vice go ahead and take care of that himself, because there's not a whole lot else he really can do that's useful. So we'll still, of course, keep up the Delta Shield, we'll uh, focus with Fina, and we'll use the Justice Shield. The good news is, like I've said before, we do actually gain quite a bit of spirit in between turns, and I should have healed now that I think about it, but we'll be alright, it's no big deal. Alright, well, see, so yeah, just used a turn him, so basically wastes a turn, which is good. Alright, so let's have Vice get that fatigue off of himself, that would really limit our SP. Alright, now let's see what we've got. We've got 24, which isn't quite enough to use Pirate's Wrath, Justice Shield, and Delta Shield, so we're gonna need to take one more turn to focus. That fatigue brought us, uh, it made it take one turn longer, but that's alright. So, uh, actually, uh, need to remember to take this opportunity to heal, and then we'll, uh, Justice Shield here. Alright, now, do her regular attacks... I can't remember if her pet regular attacks still have the chance to petrify or not. I'm pretty sure they did in the previous form, so I would assume that carries over here, so that might be something else to watch out for as well. Thankfully, we're healed up, though, and we've got um, a good batch of spirits, so that Death Hound should go down on the next turn, and then we can focus our attention on the main threat here. Yeah, there we go. Plenty to go. Alright, so the Death Hound is green, which means red or yellow is in order. I guess we'll do yellow since it's first up. Go ahead and use that on him. Again, with the Delta Shield focusing and Justice Shield.
And it's unusual that she hasn't used her t uh, Tempest Dance yet. She usually spams that. There you go, just about every chance she gets. And yeah, you can see it kind of added a step in there, one little teleport behind him, but um, it's still to Vice that really doesn't do too much damage. She seems to focus on Vice a lot, um, I guess maybe for story reasons, but um, it seems like more often than not, Vice gets targeted with those Tempest Dance, so um, that shouldn't be too big of a deal for him. Oh wow, that actually didn't kill him. I figured it would. Um, I know why. Vice does not have the Captain's Hat on. Once again, I've forgotten to equip that. Let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Um, a Cutlass Fury will probably take it down from here, though, because it doesn't have too much left, so... Again, I'm going to have to draw the battle out by an extra turn. I'm going to have Fina actually heal up Vice real quick. There we go. So yeah, do uh, on some part to random luck and on some part to my not paying attention. Uh, this is going to take just one more turn longer, but that's alright. The Weflin's going to get negated here, so that's good. All right, now let's take down that stupid dog. There we go. All right, now we focus on Piastel. Um, all in all, she hasn't really improved too much in terms of her stats. And uh, with Strengthened and with the Captain's Hat, I'm pretty sure two Pirate's Wraths will take her down. So um, it should be over actually before too long and we shouldn't have to stall too much longer. Uh, thankfully, she's been taking it easy on us for the most part. So this has actually been a rather routine battle. Here we go with the Tempest Dance again, and again, it looks like it's on Vice. Yeah, like I said, she seems to go after him a lot. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess, like I said, story purposes. I don't know. Which I do have to say, that's much better than her going after, like, Fina for story purposes. Because <laughs> she would go down pretty quickly. Alright, so we've got plenty of SP here. She is blue, so um, I think uh, yellow... I oh, know it's it's going to be green or purple, actually, so there we go. We'll switch over to that, use a Pirate's Wrath, get the Delta Shield, get a heal, and use just a shield. You pretty much got the routine down by now. Alright, yep, there's the Eternum I was telling you about. Uh, thankfully, I believe uh, Fina's little accessory would protect her from that as well. Um, the other thing, though, with the tournament is if they don't instantly die, I'm pretty sure they still take heavy damage, so... Um, either way, it's better to negate it. And as you can see, that does quite a bit of damage. I can't really tell. It looks like that's about half. But um, I guess we'll only see next time if one more will take her down. So, uh, from here on out, we pretty much just uh, should be one more turn. I'm fairly certain two Pirates Wraths will do it, but we'll have to see. Alright, yeah, Deluge, that's fine. No big deal. In fact, I'm not even going to bother healing that. That's how little of a deal that is. Alright, so one more Pirates Wrath. Hopefully that will do it. Just in case, though, let's make sure we put up our defenses again. Alright, well, <laughs> it's a good thing we did, because if somebody would have went down from that, they would have been robbed of experience. Uh, though, again, it was on Fina, so she might have been protected. Oh, she's got just a sliver more. Alright, so I guess a Cutlass Fury then will take care of it. Definitely enough uh, SP for that. <laughs> All right, so Vice, let's finish this, please. Down she goes. I think she was saying something there, but I couldn't quite hear it. <laughs> I swear I heard just a little bit of noise, but oh well. All 
Alright, so there we go. Finishes that battle off. And that is the fourth and final Piastal fight. Looks like we got a light dress from that. Piastal. I knew I would lose. Having fought you three times already, I knew that I was no match for you. Only a fool would think otherwise. And I know that you weren't lying. Then, then why? Why'd you still fight? If it wasn't you air pirates that took my father's life, then what have the last seven years of my life been for? For what reason have I fought alone all these long years? I lost my reason for living. No, it was wrong for me to only live for revenge in the first place. That's why I thought that I deserved to die by your hand, to cleanse myself of this lie that I've lived. Piastel. Piastel, near Sailor's Island there's a small doctor's ship. Go find it. Doc and your sister Maria are aboard that ship. What? If you're lying to me, I shall make you pay with your life. Hey now, didn't you just say that you believed in us? You better do something about that temper of yours. <laughs> Pretty much. Vice, is it really true? Can I trust you? But no, I can't see them. Not like this. Not as the angel of death. I can't let them know what's become of me. Oh, come on. Relax, Piastel. Just go see them already. I'm sure that Doc and Maria would be more than happy to see you, too. Now get going. We don't have time to sit here and smell the roses. We got sailing to do. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to tell you one thing. Piastel, you're not the angel of death. You never were. You've always been Maria's older sister. Just ask her. I'm sure she'll tell you the same. Vice, I... I don't know what to say. Maybe we'll see you again somewhere out in this big blue sky. Till then, Piastel. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I think that's going to effectively bring an end to uh, the Angel of Death. Yeah, no more battles and she won't be uh, harassing any more air pirates, but uh, we still actually have just a little bit left to follow up on. This isn't really indicated, but... Um, we're actually going to head back to Doc's ship. We're going to be able to get another scene and, you know, pretty much conclude this whole saga, which has been building up throughout the entire game. So let's see, it's this ship over here. There's, <laughs> there's always a few flying around to get a little confused. And of course, I get rudely interrupted. All right, so <laughs> now let's head back to Doc's ship. Oh, hey, it's Vice. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. I don't have much to offer in the way of comforts, but you're free to stay as long as you wish. Oh hey, I almost forgot to tell you something. Piastel came by the other day. R really? Yep, it was a day I'll never forget. Uh, excuse me. Um, are you one of Uncle Doc's patients? <laughs> no. Nothing like that. I was, uh, just passing by and I thought I'd drop in. Oh, I see. Were you looking for something out there? I saw you staring out at the sky. Yeah, my friend Piccolo is out there somewhere. I was just wondering how he was doing. Piccolo used to live here, but he flew home to be with his friends. He's a bird, you know. I see. It must be lonely for you without him. Piccolo and I are like each other. We both were so lonely, with no other friends. But he grew up and was able to go see his friends. But Uncle Doc told me something. He told me that I have a big sister. And that my big sister's out there somewhere, flying through the skies. I wonder if I'll ever get to meet her. Y yeah I'm sure you will. Someday you will. I just know it. Yeah. Really? You think so? Wow. <laughs> Would it be okay if I came back? You know, to talk with you again? Yeah. Thank you. You don't know how much that means to me. I think she wants to get to know her little by little, to ease back into things. Someday they will be family again.
Vice, I've heard about you and Ramirez from various rumors from sailors passing through. One of you, either you or Ramirez, will not walk away alive from this mess, which means I'll lose one of my dear friends either way. Doc. Vice, just follow your instincts. Do what you have to. I know you're selling the path that you feel is right. I get the feeling that deep down inside, Ramirez is doing the same. Good luck, Vice. Nice. I really, I always really liked that scene between uh, Piastel and Maria there. So <laughs> you can tell like she's so much different from the whole Angel of Death persona she had on before. You know, just kind of like nervously, awkwardly approaching and stuff like that. So uh, it's kind of cool to see her, you know, sort of return to more of a her former state, I guess, becoming more of her former self. You know, just Maria's big sister. So uh, that's a pretty neat little scene, and I think that's a really good ending actually to that entire side quest. But. Anyway, we are now done with them. We've got no more Moonfish, we've got no more uh, Piastel Battles, so they're pretty much off to just, you know, do whatever they want to do with their own future, and we've got other things to turn to. But, I think this looks like a pretty good place to stop for right now. We've got one more battle, we're going to take on the next wanted battle in the next part, so... till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.